say good morning. Um, it is a little after midnight, it's 12.10, and I'm awake. Um, although, really, I laid down, but I didn't go to sleep. I really should have tried to, though. Oh my god, <sighs> it's cold. Um, so I'm just waiting for the car to warm up, and then I will be on my way to Target. I Okay, this is so weird. Like, all right, so I pull up to Target, right? I'm expecting lights, camera action, <coughs> the full shebang. But the lights are off. Like, you can't even really see Target because the lights are off. There are people inside and there are people like walking up to the building and like leaving, so I know they're open, but this is just really bizarre. Like, the lights of the parking lot are off. Like, Walmart, there's people over there, but it's not even like busy. This is so weird. Maybe people are like boycotting Black Friday? I don't know, but I'm about to go do some shopping and hopefully since there's like no one here, the lines are gonna be super fast and then maybe I'll go to Walmart too. My first peppermint mocha of the season. Seriously? Yeah. It's funny how everybody waits. I mean, it's, to do it. yeah. I mean, I was oh. doing the pumpkin spice lattes and stuff, but it is time for the peppermint mocha. Oh yeah. Definitely. All right, I'm doing my first peppermint mocha of the season. Mm. How's it taste? Really good. Thank Yay, you so much. You're welcome. So I found out what's going on. Um, Apparently there was just something going on with the lights, but they are open and apparently they were actually like really busy earlier, but it, this is just like the quiet time of the night. I'm getting a stocking stuffer for Dan, but I don't remember which one of the thing that I'm getting that he likes. So maybe I'll just get one of each. Whatever kind he doesn't like, he can give to someone or something. I don't care. <clears throat> oh, I guess I shouldn't show what it was. All right, so there's no one here, and I get to do all my shopping. Oh, it's like part of Anne once again. I have my peppermint milk guy. I'm just, I'm all set. The chick at Starbucks was so cool. She helped me record, and we're talking about wedding stuff. She got married in, probably like, 20 miles from here about three years ago, and she loved it. I actually visited the place about a year ago, and I didn't like the outside, but maybe I'll give it another look. She said it really worked with her budget, and she loved it, and the food was great, so... Now I just shop. All right, I'm sure I look like a mess, but here's my dilemma. You see all these ornaments? They're just like pounds and pounds of glitter. Glitter. Glitter is on everything. Look, even this little golf bag has glitter. This, this fish has glitter. And I love glitter. So I just want all of it. I want it all. Oh, yep. Yeah, I found this one. I'm getting this one. Not to be ridiculous, but because we got engaged this year. Now this one looks a little broken, it's a little jiggly in there, but since we got engaged this year, I thought that, that would be a cute one, right? And it's only four bucks. My first Christmas with Dan so that was 2009, five years ago? Yeah, right? Yeah, 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 five years ago. Um, one day I came home, this was before we lived together, and um, he said he wasn't coming over that night. And I was like, what the hell? You come over like almost every night, what are you, why aren't? So I was kind of like frustrated with him about it, but whatever, I just went home after work. And when I got home, there was a light on in my bedroom, and I was like, oh crap. Um, this is where I lived on my own, but, uh, Dan didn't live with me. I had a roommate. So anyway, I come home and I was like, oh crap, I left the light on in my bedroom all day. Oh no. I thought, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but, oh crap. So I get in my bedroom and there was a Christmas tree assembled and lit up for me. So that was, um, like I said, five years ago, Dan bought me that tree. Well, at this point, it is totally dilapidated. Um, so Dan's replacing the tree. But that year, I didn't have a whole lot of money for ornaments. Like, we couldn't afford hardly anything. So, I went over to my friend Kathy's house. 
and my mom went with me and the three of us stayed up all night just like making these decorations and drinking coffee and sharing stories and it was a blast and all those ornaments have a sentimental value so um they're much more special to me than things that I buy even though the stuff that I buy is cute because I have good taste um it's not handmade so I want to go through this year and make some more ornaments maybe I might have a friend over or if a friend decides to come in town we could do that one night that would be fun we could drink some coffee and share stories eat cookies all right i'm just now walking up to walmart i haven't even gone in and i wonder if something happened or if something you were anticipating something because there's three cop cars over there and then there's an ambulance and something called operation blue crush i have no clue what that is okay so it is 3 47 a.m on Friday morning and I am done with my Black Friday shopping. Um, I was underwhelmed because like the whole thing is that there's crowds and music and chaos and long lines, but that's kind of just the way it's always been. So for it to be so empty is nice because I'm done quicker, I guess, but it's not kind of the tradition. So that was weird, um, not the same, but at least I went. Uh, I got some awesome things. I got some gifts. I got some stuff for the house. I got a new tree. So when I was at Target, um, I was just, you know, slowly perusing down the aisles, looking at various things. And I was looking at, like, gift wrapping and stuff. And all of a sudden, I heard someone on a radio, like someone that worked there, said on their radio, come to aisle C20, like management or security or something. And I was really close to there. And this person was like right behind me. And so I was like, what the hell? Are they gonna call security on me? Like that's fine because I haven't done anything and I don't mind, you know, them looking in my my pockets or whatever, whatever they gotta do. I don't, I don't mind because I haven't done anything wrong. Um, but then, I, you know, I left and everything was fine. Well then I'm at Walmart, you know, doing the same thing, perusing, just kind of aimlessly walking. Well, not aimlessly, but just, you know, looking at stuff. And I hear, you know, them call security to electronics. Well, at that point, I wasn't in electronics, so that wasn't really a big deal. And um, then probably 20, 30 minutes later, they said, security to all departments. And I was like, how many security guards do they have here? Because there's like maybe 50 people in the store. I don't know why they have that many security guards, but whatever. Well, then I'm walking to go check out with, you know, my card or whatever. And there's me and this big group of people and we're walking at the same time. Um, and there's a guy in a white button down standing with a cart with his back to the doors. I'm trying to like describe it. And um, as we walk past him, me and that like group of people that was behind me, um, the guy said very loudly like into some sort of speaker. And then I saw like he had a name tag, he worked there the shopper is leaving the store. It was very ominous. And I start looking around and I'm looking at these people behind me and they're looking at me like I'm a thief or something. It was so weird. And then there were like two other kind of random guys that were walking right by us. And then this one guy started walking really fast or quickly towards like the door. I don't know, I don't know what the story was. So I felt really suspect at both places. And I didn't even do anything. And that's kind of what was my thought process at Walmart. like. When I got to the register, I was just standing there like, if someone walked past, I'm like, is this security about to ask me to the friggin' show them what's in my pockets and stuff? I was like, that is so cute. Okay, so here's what I got. I figured I would kind of unveil it and figure, try it out. Um, a friend of mine said that she had one for her desk and she really liked it. So I thought I would try it out. It is a USB powered Christmas tree. And I don't know what that means. Um, since Target's power was out, they had like all their displays were broken and like the, tr the TVs weren't working. I hope you can see me. Alright, here we go. Finally, got this open. Now let's just see what happens when you plug it in. There it is. Oh, it just kind of sits there with the lights on. It's kind of cute. Just a little treat. Yeah, that'd be cute to have my desk. 